it's Thomas here, and I'm going to show you how to set up, install, and calibrate your Eheim Jager heater. First off, to set up and install your Jager heater, remove the contents of the box, which includes the heater, the heater holder, and the Eheim suction cups. Next, attach the suction cups to the heater holder. Then, attach the heater holder to the heater. Next, simply turn the blue dial until the desired temperature, which is a number in Fahrenheit, stops in front of the red arrow. Turning the blue dial is the only way to change the actual temperature of the heater, lower or higher. The red arrow is only a reference point and adjusting the arrow will not affect the thermostat of the heater. Once set, put the heater inside of the aquarium, close to a flow source like a filter or power head, and then plug it in ensuring to have a drip loop. Now, before we move on to calibration, it's really important to make sure that you have a reliable thermometer on hand. This should not be a cheap stick-on thermometer, but rather a quality glass or digital thermometer that will have a reliable reading. If you have more than one thermometer to reference, that's even better. Eheim Jager heaters are preset at the factory and should be completely accurate out of the box, However, there are sometimes discrepancies between the temperature you set the heater to and the temperature you're achieving in your aquarium. If after 24 to 48 hours, your aquarium temperature is stable, but not the same number that you set the heater to, you can remove the heater from the aquarium and adjust the red reference arrow by sliding the tab at the back of the heater left or right until it points to the temperature that your tank currently is. So if your heater is set to 78, but the tank is only 74, adjust the red arrow, not the blue dial, until it is pointing at 74. Once the reference is adjusted, you can then turn the blue dial until the red arrow hits 78, which is the temperature you were looking for, and then place it back in the aquarium. The heater is now calibrated and will heat to the correct temperature. Here are a few things to keep in mind. The amount of time your heater spends on or off will depend on a few factors, such as, the volume of the aquarium, the ambient temperature of the room, the temperature you want to achieve, and the wattage of the heater. If the heater is not correctly sized, it may stay on nearly all the time or almost never come on at all. These aren't necessarily indications that there is a defect in the heater, but rather could just be an indication that an inappropriately sized heater was chosen. If the heater is set to a specific temperature like 78, but does not often come on and remains at a lower temperature such as 72, keep in mind it may not be defective and may just require recalibration. Much in the same way, if the heater remains on all the time and is overheating the aquarium, it is possible that it is not defective and stuck on, but rather simply needs recalibration. Aquariums over 150 gallons in size will likely require more than one heater in order to hit tropical temperatures in the average home aquarium. It is also recommended to use two smaller heaters rather than a single larger heater whenever possible. Using two heaters creates a more evenly heated aquarium as well as provides a backup in the rare event that one heater fails. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other issues with your Eheim Jager heaters, feel free to contact Eheim Support directly.